I'd like to give you three reasons. One, as you see Joseph being introduced in the story, he was a beloved of his father. He was always under his daddy's shadow. And again, he was an accuser of his brethren. That's the nature of the devil as you find in Revelation 12 and verse 10 and 11. But God wanted to get him out of this situation. So God took him out of his father's embrace, out of his brothers, and then put him in prison. And he was made ready to occupy high positions, to stand all by himself, to be a person who would serve kings, nations, peoples, and languages. The second reason when he was thrown into prison, when he was sold as a slave, God wanted him to get into survival mode, trusting only in him. His master failed him, even though he served him faithfully. His, the mistress of the house accused him wrongly, even though he served that home faithfully. And he had to bear all that pain, all that suffering, all that loneliness with nobody there to help him. He went into the prison. The people whom he helped, they forgot him. He thought people will help him. But God showed him, it is only I who will help you. I'll be your only friend. And that's what he told me also when I gave my life to the Lord. He said, Paul, Till now you had many friends, but from now on, I'll be your only friend. And thirdly, God made him learn the customs of Egypt. And especially he was put in a prison where the king's prisoners were there. So he learned the Egyptian language. He learned the customs of royalty. And he learned the customs of the Egyptians and the people right in prison. So it was a school for him. So God made the best of teachers to come into prison as the Pharaoh would throw them into prison and they would teach Joseph about the laws of the land, the customs, the culture. And when the time came, God made him a well-rounded individual, trusting only in him and strong, having overcome all the hurts and pains, and thirdly, with the knowledge of the laws of the land. And God made him a ruler over many nations. He that is faithful in small things shall become ruler over many. So God has a purpose in our lives. Just hold on to him and thank him for every opportunity, whether it's being a slave or in prison, or being out of your family. God's plan shall prevail. He will teach us.